Penis exercises, the basics. Penis exercises are a way of trapping blood in the penis. While some people sell systems on penis exercises this video is free. And it's free because I'm not going to lie to you about penis exercises. I'm not here to make a quick buck. Here is what gurus who rip you off with exercise programs will tell you, penis exercises are a great way to make your penis bigger. They're all you need to grow by 2 to 6 inches. Buy my stuff. Exercises work because they enlarge the blood vessels in the penis and then your penis can accommodate more blood. That means you get a bigger penis. I gotta tell you right now though. That's total BS. What you need is the two-step biochemical method to penis enlargement. One of these steps is exercises. So here's what you need to know about exercises. This is basic exercises, advanced exercises and finally a schedule for when to do what. Here's what you need to know, some men, all too eager to see gains, have gone straight in at the deep end and done harm to their penis by not following the routine structure. Please be careful. Warming up. Just like any sports, warming up is very important to make sure that you protect your penis from any undue damage. If you fail to warm up properly then you're really putting a penis risk. I'll say it again, warming up is vital. First of all, you need to prepare your penis. Soak a washcloth in warm or hot water, then squeeze it out. Take the warm cloth and wrap it around the shaft of your penis, either flax it or erect. Hold it right there for a minute, remove it, repeat at least twice. Next is to dry off your penis well. Many people have come up with different ways of warming up, but I find the simplest to be dunking a towel in hot, but not boiling, water and wrapping it around your penis. The hotter the better, but please be careful not to burn yourself. Before you begin your daily exercises, you have to start off with this procedure for at least 5 minutes. The hot compress is useful because it draws blood to the area of your penis, thereby escalating the blood flow and making the skin more elastic. Another advantage is that this also ensures a good grip for the exercises you will be carrying out. Lubrication. Lubrication is necessary for all of the techniques I recommend here. Using the right lubricant will help you avoid irritation to the sensitive skin of your love gear. There are many types of lubricants are used around the world. Of course, the most popular types are water-based personal lubricants. The water-based lubricants are so simple and easy to clean up but tend to dry out quicker while you are exercising your penis. Therefore you may need to add more lube as you progress through your workout. While the petroleum-based lubricants are fine to use but they seem to be thicker and harder to clean up. Vaseline is the most popular of the petroleum-based lubricants but we believe that Vigrix oil works the best. This oil has been specially formulated to boost male enhancement. Now you are going to learn is standard stretching and standard jelking. Stretching. Standard stretching involves stretching penis so that the ligaments get longer under penis, therefore gains length. The purpose of this method is to create tension in the erectile tissues by stretching the skin of the penis while in an erect state. Not only does this make the skin of your penis slightly elastic, it also expands the amount of the space in your penis chambers, the corpora cavernosa. The higher the amount of blood, that can fill these spaces results in an enlarging of the overall mass of your penis. Stretching is so simple that you need to do is stretch the penis to make it longer. This involves gripping the penis just below the head and stretching it out with force to the ligaments gain size. There are six stretches. Stretch 1, while sitting on the edge of a sofa or bed, begin stroking your penis using your thumb and forefinger, the same and okay symbol used in our other methods. Pulling the penis directly in front of you. You put the penis out directly in front of you from 30 to 40 seconds. As you stroke the penis from the base toward the head, maintain a firm grip and stretch the skin as best as you can. Stretch 2. You put the penis directly down for 30 to 40 seconds. Stretch 3. People the penis directly up for 30 to 40 seconds. Stretch 4. You pull the penis directly to the left for 30 to 40 seconds. Stretch 5. You pull the penis directly to the right for 30 to 40 seconds. Stretch 6, you rotate the penis all the way in a circular movement for 30 to 40 seconds. Repeat each direction 2 to 3 times. With these 6 stretches all you have to do is 4 sets of each every day. Only do this after you have warmed up correctly. After you've finished the exercise you can release the grip on the base of your penis. You should feel the blood begin flowing again. Go ahead, you may ejaculate at this point if you feel the urge. Remember to use a firm grip and enough lubrication. 
always exercise caution. Do not grip your penis too tight so that you lose the circulation. If you are in pain or feel any discomfort, then you are doing the technique in the wrong way. Read the instructions again and retry the technique slowly. Jelking. Stretching exercises are useful for lengthening your penis. But in order for one man to increase the circumference, you have to perform stretching exercise while your penis is in a partially erect state. Jelking is the technique that develops the whole penis so that its length, thickness, weight, and density all become proportionately enlarged. Jelking, also called milking, is actually one of those ancient practices that has been performed for centuries by various tribes and cultures around the world. It's considered the most successful method of enlarging the penis. These milking exercises could force the blood into your penis. Over the course of several months, the blood spaces in the penis will gain volume. In other words, they can hold more blood. As a result, your penis gets larger. Jelking is slightly different from stretching. Standards jelking involves forcing blood through the shaft of the penis by using your hand to trap it so that the blood vessels expand. The standards jelk the one that you'll be using for the first number of weeks requires that you make a shape with your thumb and forefinger. To make this easier to explain simply make an OK symbol with your hand. The O that you create through doing this will form the basis of your jelk. The standards jelk involves gripping the penis at the very base, squeezing tightly, and milking penis as you would a cow so that blood is forced to the tip. Standard jelks should each last 3 seconds from the base to the tip. 1. Apply your lubricant all over the skin of your penis. Keep your lubricant close by since you will want it to last for as long as you need it. Don't use the soap because it tends to dry the skin. 2. With your thumb and forefinger, squeeze the base of the penis shaft. Pull downward. Stop at the head. Repeat, alternating hands. Each stroke should last about 3 seconds. The stimulation will certainly help you reach an erection. 3. When your penis becomes semi-erect, not fully erect, make the AOK -okay sign with the thumb and forefinger of your left hand. With this hand, grip tightly around the base of your penis. 4. Now starting from the base, pull the penis gently yet firm. Stretch downward and outward. You have to maintain your semi-erect penis at this point. Make certain to start from the base the head with each stroke. Note that the head of your penis will get bigger with blood. 5. Switch to your right hand and repeat the stroke, starting from the base and stretching downward to the head. Alternate both hands in a smooth rhythmic, milking, movement, touching upon every part of the penis except the very top part of the penis head. This is the very foundation of jelking. Don't forget that jelking exercises are not performed during fully hard erection. Make sure that your penis is between half to three-fourths erect. Results cannot be obtained until a partial erection is present. After this exercise has been done for quite some time, you will notice that your penis appears both longer and thicker. This is a fact. And I can assure you that from within one to several months of routine exercise, your penis will emerge quite huge. This is due to the impaction of blood and the penal tissues. Carefully choose one of these jelking exercise techniques that you feel comfortable with to include in your daily routine. PC Muscle Workout what nearly everyone doesn't know is that the pubic exiguous muscle, pubic exiguous, or PC muscle plays a critical role in the functioning of the penis. The pubic exiguous muscle is actually a group of muscles that run from the pubic bone to the tailbone. The PC muscle is the muscle you bring into play to stop the flow of urine from the bladder. It is also the muscle that contracts whenever you ejaculate, moving the semen up through the penis and out of the body. The PC muscle is a busy little muscle, you know? But as far as most men are concerned, it is still grossly unknown. Mastering the techniques of male multiple orgasms is easy once you know how to train your pubic exiguous muscle. When you urinate and you want to get the last drop out, you use your PC muscle in the opposite direction. By doing this, you'll feel your anus open and the feeling will be somewhat different. Most men can do kegels anywhere since they're seldom aroused by the exercises. Continued over a lifetime, the exercises can help men and women avoid urinary incontinence as they age. That, plus greater arousal, enhanced orgasms and longer listing sex, make kegels one of the simplest, most beneficial exercises a man or woman can do throughout their lifetime. Be careful though. Using your PC muscle can have negative effects. If you produce too much testosterone then you will find that you ejaculate prematurely. 
However, if you follow our guidelines, you will actually enhance your ejaculation control. The basics of the PC muscle workout involve you clenching your muscle as hard as you can for a certain amount of time. To find the muscle in question all you have to do is stop the flow of urine when you are in the toilet. If you are serious about getting bigger, check out the Penis Enlargement Bible, click the link below.